as long as you have a satisfied customer, a happy customer, as you called it, you will always find shareholders. Capital, mm -hmm. there is no shortage of capital, but every company has a shortage of customers. So to find, to create a satisfied customer, this is what I would like to recommend as the purpose of a business. And as long as a, a, a business has satisfied customers and enough of them, it will always be in a position to pay a decent dividend, to satisfy the shareholders, and in the end, but you may notice that the causality is different to start with the customer. And what follows as a consequence is the happy shareholder too. And what I would like to recommend is uh, to put the company in the middle of the attention. You see, I would like to recommend not this sort of uh, what is called the shareholder capitalism, uh -huh. which is all okay, but I would like to recommend the corporate capitalism, which puts within the center of attention the company as such. Well, the reason these days, let me say for the last 10 years or 15 years or so, is that so many uh, companies are under the pressure of the stock markets. Mm -hmm. So there is the, the whole level of the financial uh, economy as opposed or as compared to what I would like to call the real economy. I mean, if one says uh, companies are making money, then I say, no, uh, I've never seen a company making money, but I know a lot of companies making automobiles mm -hmm. or making shoes or making high fashion or drinks or whatever it is. And that is the reason, if they do that well, uh, that they can make a decent profit. But the pressure of the financial markets, the financial media, the stock market, the analysts, etc., they are interested mainly in short-term returns. That is what their customers actually want and they put so much press pressure on the companies and their managements that the time horizon for planning, for innovation, for marketing, etc., is shortening and is very much uh, compressed into the short term. I would rather like to draw to the attention over and beyond what is called business and administration. It's all okay, you see, and to having an MBA is all okay. But then for the higher levels, uh, career levels and career steps and the higher levels of uh, approaching top management, it is just not enough. One needs to go beyond that and one needs to go to real leadership and management. And business administration and those kinds of models is all about money and marketing and things like that but then management is about information about the question where do i get the reliable information so the management needs sort not of the variable planetary positions to look at but the pole star where you can get reliable information from that is the the, the function of management to steer the ship